Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy, and thank you so much for being here. The hair is just freshly air dried and blow dried, so it's a bit crazy. It's giving a little coconut head. That's okay, because we're going full coconut French bob. I'm getting my hair trimmed again in a week, and I wanna go like French bob, which I kind of already have quite a short bob, but I'm thinking about going even a little bit shorter and cuter. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But the reason I'm bringing up France is because Reed and I, like I said, we're going to France for my 30th birthday. We leave in like a week from when I'm filming this. And we are just racking ourselves and racking our brain over how to pack and the best way to pack. And we haven't been international together since 2019, so pandemic times or pre-pandemic times, and that's when we were engaged. And I was like, 26. I just throw stuff in a bag then. Now it's like a science, you know? How can I get the most stuff in the least smallest bag and whatever. Point being, I need to see how the makeup that I have packed for the trip is going to fare on the trip. So we need to do a practice round of the makeup that I brought to see what we can get rid of or to see if I like what we have in here um, because I want to make sure that I have everything that I need and I think the only way to do that is to practice with it. So I have a few of each sort of thing in here. I really, really tried not to overpack. I didn't even put an eyeshadow palette in here. It's basically just like one to two of each category so that I have a little bit to play with but I do fully intend on shopping when we get there. So, you know, we're going to the south of France. I'm not just gonna not shop. They have Sephora's in France. I'm definitely gonna go see what a French Sephora looks like. I'm obviously going to the French pharmacies. I want to like get a bunch of skincare. So I'm trying really hard not to overpack and to just bring the necessities in case I don't end up shopping as much as I want to. You know, you just don't know. You just don't know what's gonna happen. Do you hear that buzzing? There's like a bug in my room somewhere stuck in a window. Do you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. Hopefully you can't hear it. So anyways, as I said, my name is Rudy. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. We talk about skincare, makeup, hauls. I am filming a declutter this week to go up while I'm out of town. That was something that I recently mentioned on my community page is that with me going to France, I have had a lot of stuff to do before for work and I'm not gonna have as much time to film during and on the trip, obviously, I am gonna try and vlog while I'm there with my husband, but I don't know what's gonna come of that footage. So bear with me and I'm sorry if I miss an upload here or there over the next month, but I do think what we have coming up is really exciting and fun. So I would love for you to subscribe and let's get into it. I'm trying to make sure that I'm mixing my skincare and makeup in a way that's like, oh, I could use this for multiple things. Like for example, I'm using like the mineral UV tint from Neutrogena, which is tinted sunscreen so that if I wanted to go lighter one day with that, I could go heavier with something else the next day, that sort of thing. There's a few things in here that are bigger that I wish I didn't bring, like I didn't have to bring, but I sort of really am enjoying using them right now. Two of things being the Pat McGrath blushes and this new Prism Libre concealer from Givenchy. Like I just am really loving using it. So I put it in there. So we're just gonna see again what it is that we need and what we don't need. So in terms of priming, I brought technically three, but I'm counting one of them as not a real primer. Technically four, but they're all mini, so it's fine. Okay, so here are the actual makeup primers that I brought. Again, they're all mini. They take up basically no room in my bag. The Merit Great Skin, the Milk Hydro Grip for like nights out, and then the Say Glowy Super Gel for when I want like a really cute hydrated base that has a little bit of glow to it. I'm almost out of this. And I'm also bringing my Road Essence. This is like the sample bottle that they sent me, but it's kind of perfect for travel. So I can use this also as a primer, but for the sake of the makeup, let's use the Great Skin from Merit today. I love this cutie little travel size. The sad thing is that once this is out, it's out. I can't refill it, I don't think. Oh, maybe I can. I can, yay! Some of these you can't refill, which kind of stinks because I love when the minis match the marketing and the packaging of the maxis. I love that this looks exactly like the maxi. Like, I just, it just brings me more joy than it should. I'll say that. So I'm just gonna do like 
one pump because I don't want to use too much of these products that I don't have that much left of because I am going to be gone for like 10 days and fully expect to be doing my makeup every single day. So we have dinner reservations pretty much almost every night that we're there and lunch reservations and we're doing a lot of excursions and beach days. So I am trying to pack light, but it's hard because we might have like excursions during the day and then at night we'll have like a really nice dinner where I obviously I can't wear the same thing if I was like really sweaty even though I'm trying to pack things that like a top would match this bottom and a different outfit it would match that you know it's I I'm hoping because we're staying in hotels that they can help us with like dry cleaning and stuff or just like putting a load in the lot in the laundry for us I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen but moving on uh, in terms of coverage, here are our options. Ready? That's it. Yes, I am bringing the Summer Friday skin tint and that is it for my coverage choice for a couple reasons. One, it's plastic. It's not going to like fall apart and have everything seeping out of it in my purse. Two, it's really small. And three, this has no sunscreen in it so I can layer it with my sunscreen or wear it at night without getting a flashback. This is my favorite skin tint, you guys know this, and I am trying to go a little bit more minimal with my coverage while I'm there also just to make things easier. I did bring a couple concealers and we'll get to that. Before, actually, before we go in with our um, foundation, once again, I freaking missed the the ball of my current eyebrow scenario i've been trying to do my eyebrows before the rest of my freaking makeup and i forget every single time because i'm not used to it but in terms of eyebrows then we'll go back to our coverage stuff in terms of eyebrows i brought three things i am bringing um this brow definer stylist from L'Oreal because it's just it's good and it's super small for lamination gels I'm bringing the Kush this this new one from Milk. It's their Kush lamination gel I really really like this and then if I want to add a little bit of color to my brows I'm gonna bring the brow glue in medium brown from NYX These are both really easy to use and just like super lightweight and small to keep in your bag So luckily most brow products are but I'm gonna use the milk one today I was looking at older photos and videos of me and my brows and I think I used to just put too much in them. Like I used to fill them in and put in a like a colored brow gel and it was just giving overdone. It was giving like, okay, we get it. You have a lot of stuff in your brows and the least amount of product lately that I've been putting in my brows, the more I've liked them. However, like, you know that that'll change. Like, it always does. People, you go through waves and how you like to wear your makeup and you don't even notice how it happens, but it just does. And right now I'm in this sort of lamination phase where I wanna have them fluffy, but I don't want that much color in them. And I am going to get them professionally laminated and trimmed and tinted along with my brows or along with my lashes before the trip so they will be looking their absolute best before okay while this lamination gel is starting to set we can go in with our coverage again and keep going and then we'll fill them in once it's kind of set down a little bit but yes i will be using also i have brushes that i bring with me everywhere and they're all mini sizes of brushes i already own so most of them are from BK Beauty, they came out with um, travel size of their brushes. So like you can see the brush head is the same size, but the shaft is like half as long, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna use the brushes that I already have out. But yes, I freaking love Summer Fridays. I was thinking about doing a, br a brand review on them and doing like a full face, but they don't have that many makeup products, but what they do have, I love. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. This is in shade four. It is the perfect shade for me, especially in the summer. It has like almost a, it's a very neutral undertone, which works well for me. And I personally like to apply it with a brush. This is actually a brand new bottle because the one that I have at home is almost out and I don't want to run out of it while I'm actually on vacation. That's like the worst part about having a product almost up. It's like, I don't want to use it up while I'm gone somewhere, even though like ideally I would like to finish it out because I don't want to run out of it when I need it. So I'll probably just keep using that one at home until it's done and 
take the full one to travel with me. I wouldn't say the coverage on this is like even medium. It's mostly a light coverage, but it does a really good job of evening out your skin tone and adding a little bit of glow to the skin. And then you can really amp it up with a concealer, which is why I brought a few options for concealer. And again, that new one from Givenchy that I mentioned can also be used all over the face as a foundation because it's quite a lot of product. So that is our coverage um, for the entire trip. It's super pretty, I love it, and there was kind of no competition, if you ask me. I was always gonna be bringing that. Okay, next up for concealer, like I mentioned, I have two options. I think, yeah, just two options. I think that's pretty good. And one of them is a mini. And I was only intending on bringing this mini from Nude Sticks originally. This is the Nude Sticks Nude Fix Cream Concealer. I wear mine in the shade Nude 4. This is a great concealer, and this is super little. Like, this is amazing for your travel bag. But I have just been absolutely in love with this Givenchy um, Prism Libre Concealer. It's a skin caring concealer. This shade is a little bit deep for my under eyes. It it works great as like an all over face sort of product. You can see it's quite thin and this is in shade W245. It's just perfect for my actual skin tone, but I think I need a shade lighter for under my eyes. If I wanted to wear it kind of as an all over plus my under eye concealer, I think it looks really good because there's not like that line under my eyes where it's like white to skin tone. But if I want a brighter under eye, this is not the one for me. So I'm just gonna use this on some of my areas of redness and then go in with the Nude Sticks one under my eye. But I fully see myself wearing this one as like also a foundation because I love it so much. I'm not bringing an eye brightener just because I feel like usually when I'm on vacation and I'm doing my makeup, I tend to feel like I'm gonna do a lot and then I end up doing almost nothing. Like, I tend to be like, oh, I can't wait to do my makeup and then I'm like so tired or busy or like we're planning the next day that I don't end up taking as much time on my makeup as I thought I would and I end up skipping those steps that are extra. Like, I end up skipping the brighteners and um, the eyeshadow and all that stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well not pack it because if I can skip a step while we're doing fun stuff and still look good, that's the goal. Like I still want to have fun and do my makeup on the trip and enjoy it, but I don't need to do every little step, especially because I don't even do a lot of those steps at home, you know? Oh, I'm also bringing the NARS uh, Creamy Pot Concealer just in case I'm breaking out while I'm there and I need to cover some blemishes. I probably won't use this if I'm being honest, but I like to have it on hand as like a just in case type of product, especially if me or Reed got like a really big zit. I really like having the option there. All right, getting into powders. I'm bringing two translucent powders today. Um, I'm bringing two translucent powders on the trip. One is like a finishing powder and one is like more of a setting powder. Of course, I have my mini cloud set powder from Kosas. This one is in the shade Comfy and it's already hard painting a little bit, which is fine, but this is really good for touching up on the go and not necessarily so much for setting your face, which is why I'm bringing the Laura Mercier translucent mini that I have here. I think this was literally a sample and I like to, um, use a damp sponge when I use my powders. So that's why I am bringing this one because it is not great to use a damp product in a baked formula like the Kosas one. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and dab it under my eye. I'm probably gonna end up setting my face for the trip just because I'm not gonna have time to do touch-ups, especially if we're like doing excursions. We have like, a driver taking us to go do excursions in Monaco and Ez and Cannes and Nice. Like, I'm just not gonna have the time nor am I gonna want to constantly be touching up. So I'd rather kind of have my makeup set down before I leave. I just quickly filled in my brows with the L'Oreal Brow Stylus and I'm actually realizing I think I would rather bring my REM Beauty than my milk. So this is why we're doing this. You guys are helping me figure out what's the best to bring. I really like this one from Milk, but it never it never dries all the way down. Whereas the one from REM Beauty, it's more liquidy. And when you put it on, you can put them in place and then it sets and it stays like almost crunchy, which doesn't sound great, but it is great. I like having a crunchy brow. We've talked about this before because I want that like crunchy dunchy feel because I want it to 
stay and I don't have brows that are like super malleable I kind of have to like put them down and they have to stay like that all day or else they'll just fall going on to our bronzer step I brought three I have the well people supernatural bronzer which is like a darker reddish brown uh, cream bronzer then I have the shade breezy from Tarte this is like just their classic cream bronzer this is literally falling out of the pan but this is such a classic cream bronzer that works very well and then for powder bronzer I brought a mini in the hourglass luminous bronze light shade so I like to use a mix of those depending on the look I'm going for and set it with this powder one so I'm going to use the well people today and then I'll probably set it a little bit with the hourglass this one is not technically a uh, travel size product, but it's so little. Anytime you can find these like little sticks, they're so good for traveling. For example, the milk makeup sticks, whether it's the blush, the bronzer, like almost all of their makeup is really small. Their highlighters like that too. You could do literally like a whole face and it would be just the size of your purse. But the reason that I like this bronzer over the milk one for travel is that, and I like the milk one for travel too. Right now I'm just using the um, Tarte one for a similar shade is that this one has a warm tone to it it has a little bit of like almost a red undertone so it shows up almost as like a blushy bronzer for me and that is really versatile especially if I just wanted to like put a little blush on my cheeks put a little bronzer on my cheeks and go I could do that with this product whereas I feel like the milk one is a little bit cooler toned and this one is super easy to use and you can get it at Target I really cannot wait to see the skincare in these French pharmacies though it's gonna be overwhelmingly amazing so we decided to check a bag so that we could check as much stuff back as we wanted to which may end up being good or bad we got air tags and like we're paying for travel insurance and things like that but um mom is going ham mom is going ham at the pharmacy <laughs> all right blush we are flying through this which is good because while i'm there i want to make sure i can really just pop out a good look and i don't have to be like overwhelmed with options let's see i have four blushes but I don't really count it as four because two of them I are kind of like very similar so I have um, in terms of minis these are the ones I always have in my travel bag these are the nudies from nude sticks in sunkissed and peony sweet peach peony one is a matte and one is a dewy and then these are both new to me that I just like am obsessed with and I want to wear all the time this is from Pat McGrath's and it's her new uh, blush in divine rose it's just the most perfect like pinky shade and I feel like I just had to bring it. Like if I wanted to do a really simple easy pink look, I would want to bring this. And then the other one is the new NARS um, Afterglow blush in Dolce Vita. I literally just got this like two days ago and I wore it for a full day yesterday and I freaking love it. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the shade Sunkissed and then, which this is all I have left of it. So maybe I won't actually, cause I just want this for my trip, but I would take the shade Sunkissed if I wasn't afraid of using it up. And I would either put this one on top, which is, I have a little bit more left of this one. This one's the Sweet Peach Peony from Nude Sticks, or I would put like a pinky shade on top so that it wasn't just all a brown look. But today I'm gonna just use the Afterglow blush so you guys can see, cause we haven't talked about this. And you can start with a super small amount and build it up. This is a gel formula. Like it's not pure liquid. I think it is a liquid formula versus like obviously a cream blush but it blends in so easily that to me it feels more like a gel. And I really, really like that over just like a straight up liquid formula that's not got much body to it. And this shade is perfect for me. Dolce Vita, come on. It's like my exact shade that I love that's got, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm learning that in terms of terracotta blushes, which you guys know I freaking love terracotta blushes, that I prefer blushes that pull a little bit more brown to like, pinkish brown pinkish purple brown over ones that are straight brown orange does that make sense like instead of a brick red i'm more interested in like a purple brown i don't know if that made sense but i still want to add a little bit of pink on top so i am going to use divine rose and i'm just going right in on my 
brush and I'm gonna add that pink right on the apples of my cheek and I think those look really pretty together just like very soft muted pink shades because I mean if I'm being honest during the day I'm mostly just gonna be wearing an everyday makeup look and then at night I'm gonna pop on a red lip which we will talk about because obviously I have it here with me so we've got on almost all of our face. I did bring a highlighter, a liquid highlighter. I'm not gonna use it because the Pat McGrath um, blush is super glowy, as you can see. I'm not gonna use it on my cheeks, but I am gonna use it elsewhere. This is the only highlighter I'm bringing. It's a mini of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in shade 5.5, 5.5. I usually wear three, but that one's, this is fine. I cannot wait to get my eyebrows done. Oh my gosh, I'm getting them done on Friday and they are just an absolute mess right now. But I am like, why would I pluck those rogue hairs when I'm literally about to pay someone to do it? So I'm just gonna let them be <laughs> for a little while until I meet up with my girl. And I'm just gonna lightly buff this in on the high points of my face and probably a little bit over the cupid's bow just to add a little bit of extra glow. But if you did buy this, it will last you forever and you could also use this as a primer or mixed in with a foundation or a concealer to sheer it out and add a little bit of glow, which I love. This is like just the most universally flattering product. There's a shade for everybody. It looks good on everybody. It's easy to use. And there's so many ways you can use it, which is why I feel like it's an essential in a travel travel kit, for sure. And last but certainly not least for the face, we have to use my freckle pen. This is the Buried Freckle Pen. This is my freckle pen. If you're new here, I created a freckle pen with the brand Bubel. Um, it comes out on July 20th. I'm so excited. And I'm actually gonna get the finalized version in France, like they're sending it to me while I'm at my hotel. So expect to see the final packaging and everything very soon. Um, as well as a lot of tutorials on how to use the product, the best ways to store it, how to get like the most natural freckles versus like more bold ones. I mean, I'm just so excited and I hope you guys are excited too because I'm telling you there's never been a pen like this before and it is going to be your summer essential. Like it just is. I don't know how else to tell you that I made the product that you're gonna use every day for the rest of your life, but especially in the summer. You're just gonna have to try it yourself. Like to me, no look is complete without a few freckles. Cute! All right, so we have pretty much finished the complexion portion of the travel kit. In terms of eyes, I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing, but I'm not gonna use them. I'll, I'll use one of them because I don't feel like doing a whole look because um, I'm going out to drinks with someone I've never met before. However, you know, depending on the night and the vibe, I will amp it up. I brought the House Labs um, pigment paint in the shade Rose Gold Shimmer. This stuff is absolutely stunning. It's all dried out on the top and crusty, but it's basically a bronze pigment with glitter all throughout it. Absolutely beautiful for like my birthday dinner. And then I'm bringing the Tarte Quick Stick. One end has like a shimmery um, eyeshadow stick and then the other end is just a black eyeliner or like a dark brown eyeliner which you never know when you're gonna need and I just liked that it had both options and then the one that I'll use today I'm bringing uh, from Victoria Beckham this is the contour stylist and I mentioned using this on my eyes previously I think I did a live with this on Instagram this is I don't know what shade it's in because the bottom just has a color it doesn't have like a shade I think it's truffle but basically all I do is take a little bit in my crease and blend it out with my finger and it's almost giving the look of like oh does she even have eyeshadow on or does she just have like a really nice soft crease basically it gives the look of eyeshadow without being eyeshadow so a no eyeshadow eyeshadow look basically but you could also use this product for lots of other things and i just like the cream formula i'm pretty sure make beauty is coming out with a ton of these in different shades so i'm very curious about those because it does add just like the slightest bit of definition to your eyes without going overboard, which I really, really like. All right, I'm sorry, I'm taking so long. For mascara, I brought two options. They're both minis and I am getting a lash lift and tint. So on some of the days I might not wear any mascara, I might just do like a little bit of 
blush and lips and be on my way but obviously the two that I brought are both tubing options one is from Cali Ray and one is from M Cosmetics I don't use the M Cosmetics one very much but I do think it is a good wand for when you do have a lash lift and tint because the bristles are really small um, if you just wanted like a more lightweight look but in an effort to save what's in here I'm gonna use the big size of the Cali Ray just so you guys can see what it looks like um, the mini is totally worth your money if you wanted to try a tubing mascara you never tried one before you're curious about it um this will last you all day without smudging it is the absolute best for longevity it's also what i wore at coachella without any smudging by the end of the night literally none it was insane absolutely gorgeous you know what i want to add some more blush can you believe it can you believe that I want to add more blush? Let's finish off with a little bit of a lip. I have a lot of options for lips because that's just my favorite thing. I love putting on lip products. I feel like it really pulls together an entire look. So that is what I brought the most of for sure. And that's not including what's already in my purse right now. But also lips are like easy, you know, easy to take, easy to whatever. And I will also talk about the lip product that I brought to be my like genuine, authentic uh, French girl lip. Okay, so for my everyday lip options, I brought a lot of glosses and lip liners plus one new lipstick. So I brought in terms of liners, I brought the pen liner that I've been using from undone beauty this is like a like a marker and it has really really good longevity it's like a stain and it's two-sided one side's more pink and one side is more brown and it has a really nice felt tip then for regular liners i am bringing versatile chestnut and wherever walnut from makeup forever and then for lip coverage i'm bringing the rare beauty lip oil in the shade serenity which is my favorite shade of the lip oil these are basically like korean lip tints they're so nice and they really do stay all day and leave a really nice stain on the lips i'm also bringing so i'm going to try this one on for you guys because i feel like this is what you'd be interested in seeing in this video the new kosas wet lip oils no wet lip shines Kosas Wet Lip Shines. I don't know what they're called. It just says Kosas on it. But you know what I'm talking about. These new lipsticks that are so pretty. And this one is in the shade Sunset Simmer. So I brought this one for every day. So we'll put this one on and then I'll take it off and I'll put on my little red lips so you guys can see. I'm going to start with Wherever Walnut Lip Liner. I was just on the Kosas website because the day I'm filming this, they're having a really big sale. And uh, I noticed that they're discontinuing their uh, tinted face oil as well as their uh blush duos like their cream blush duos and um i just thought that was interesting because i i remember when those were like their core products and someone was like you need to update your kosas video because half of these products don't exist anymore including remember their lip liner it was absolutely awful and they just completely discontinued it anyways this is the uh shade sunset Sim sunset simmer these have a very nice formula they are not super like you guys know i like like a thicker lip formula they're not slippery but they're thinner than your average balm but they don't feel slippery on the lips like they're gonna just slide off which i can appreciate this is kind of like a really nice perfect nude for me for like every day um so this is one of the options that i brought in terms of lip sticks most likely i am going to be wearing liner plus the road lip treatment because that's just what i go for and what i like the most um, when I'm just going out and about, but I think that this pairs very well with this cute little blush moment But so let's say I wore this during the day and this was my daytime look super cute Still noticeably pretty I would amp it up in the evening by because like being realistic I'm not gonna have time to do everything. I would add a little bit of the shimmer in my on my eyes and then i would switch it out for this lipstick that i'm wearing in the evenings especially like on my birthday i might even wear it during the day i might wear it more smudged out during the day and then a little amped up at night you know i'm just being a classic french girl Ooh. so i was looking for the perfect red to wear in france and i couldn't put my finger on it because i was getting a lot of reds that had orangey undertones and i pulled out my say lip blurs and the shade classic is like the exact shade that i was looking for and i think that this could also be used a little bit on the cheeks if i wanted to have a monochromatic moment so i'm just gonna slightly dab this and i can't talk or else i'm gonna mess up oh god i already did like to me that is the french lip that like blurry matte look that's so so pretty so let's say i did this during the day and had like that blurry red lip i could amp it up at night and do full coverage i'm, I'm really curious about how this would look on 
my cheeks. I'm gonna take the Say brush and just like dab into this. I probably shouldn't do this. But when else am I gonna try this, you know? Oh, I put too much on. Okay, it's cute though. It's cute though. You just gotta be careful. Oh God, it's definitely cute. It's just a lot. It's a lot of pink. It's a lot of red. But it's cute. I can't believe, I mean, this is a lot of lipstick. There's no way I'm going through that much of this color. It is so bold, but it is perfect for this trip. So it definitely added a little sunburn moment to the cheeks, that's for sure. And also if I wanted to during the day, just add a gloss over top, like I was talking about, that leads to like a perfect little classic pinkish red lip as well. Okay, I feel like that's all the makeup that I am bringing, question mark. I'm so nervous about that. Does that feel right? You guys tell me, am I missing anything? I also brought a, um, it's already packed away in my travel carry-on. I'm bringing a facial spray, the Beekman facial spray, which I don't have out right now. So I'm just gonna use a different facial spray to top off the loop. I'm gonna use the Euphoria setting spray does not have the best mitts. And that, my friends, is my everyday French makeup that I am bringing to France. I hope you really like it. I really like it. I think that this is gonna turn out really good for every day. It's really simple, it's really easy. I do feel like I'm maybe missing something and I can't quite put my finger on what it is. So if you know what it is, tell me. I don't know what it is, but it's something. And once I figure it out, I will be putting it in my bag. So tell me in the comments below. Anyways, love you guys so much. Um, I will have everything linked down below that we talked about. By the time this video goes up, I'm either gonna be in France or still very much packing. So um, I'll see you very soon. Love you, I'm stressed, and it's gonna be fine. And love you, bye. <laughs>